Hello my friends, thank you so very much for checking out my channel today. Thank you so very much for watching this review. Please like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification button as I continue to bring you weekly content. And also remember, I am doing a contest and I'll have a video update about that on Thursday. So please subscribe so you can uh, enter your chance to win a free toy. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Universe Masterpiece Skywarp. And this is a very beautiful figurine if I do say so myself. And as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. As you can see on top here, Masterpiece Skywarp. Transformers Universe with the Decepticon insignia there, only at Walmart, Choking, Warning Hazard, Robots in Disguise. This side of the box, you just got everything that it's supposed to come with. As you can see there, opening cockpit, swing opening, uh, nose cone, hidden missiles, all that other stuff. And two different heads. I didn't get the two different heads. I got this on eBay, and I did not, unfortunately, get that. And then also at the bottom, you can see Masterpiece Skywarp and Transformers Generation 1, the Epic Origins. From 1984 to 1991, I don't remember G1, the show didn't last that long, not until 1991, but I think the comic books did, so I think that's why it says from 1991, so, and on the other side of the box, you got a picture of Skywarp Generation 1 series, Skywarp right there, and he's a masterpiece, and on the back of the box, you got your really cool picture of Skywarp, and everything else in between, fighter jet, uh, speed, and all that good stuff. And his bio, you can read that on your old time in the bottom of the box. Really nothing right there. Transformers Collective Club, all that good stuff. And that's it for the packaging. And here is Skywarp himself. Take a look at this figurine. This is a really cool figurine. I do enjoy it. This was the, uh, like I said earlier, the Walmart masterpiece when they had the back of the day. There's the front side of him, here's the back side, but the arms are just a little out of place there. And here's the back side. And here are the accessories that it likes to come with. Well, that it comes with is guns and all that good stuff. And that's what I showed in the, in the uh, beginning of what he stands on. Alrighty. And now for comparison. Here he is with Go to the Goon Optimus Prime. As you can see, Skywarp is much longer than Optimus Prime because one's a truck and the other is a fighter jet. Alrighty. And here are the uh, Hasbro's lovely instructional booklets that it comes with. You know, pure garbage right there. Alrighty. Now, I'm going to come back and I'll have him in, his, in their... Uh, Robot modes for you. And here's what he looks like in his robot mode. And this is actually pretty cool. This is a little mistransformed because this was a little pain in the ass to kind of figure out right here. That's why I don't really show the transformations on camera on camera because the masterpiece and the uh, studio series are a little difficult sometimes when it comes for transformation. Now articulation wise, his head doesn't really move that much. His arms can do a full 360 and can spin around and that's basically about it his legs don't really move that much and here is where his uh, missile launchers are at that that is pretty cool I wish I would have gotten the two the uh, the two headed his two heads but I got it on eBay so kind of hit and miss with eBay sometimes and he can also fit on this this little thing too. So, but for comparison, here he is with MP10 Go to the Lagoon. As you can see, MP10 is much much taller than what he is. And here he is with Siege Skywarp as they. Mount to another here. This is a little bit better than what this is. And of course, the awesomeness of Generation 1. Here he is with G1 Skywarp. As you see how they stack up there, obviously, Masterpiece Skywarp is much taller than his G1 counterpart. And here are his weapons, as I showed off earlier. 
All right, that pretty much uh, wraps up today's review. Join us uh, later this week on Thursday as uh, I think I'm going to do a go ahead and do a Transformers Studio Series KSI Boss. I'll be a little bit, a little bit better review for everyone. And again, thank you for uh, joining my channel. Please like, comment, subscribe as I continue to bring you weekly content and have a wonderful day. Thank you.